out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. So we are the servants of the Most High God. So the Lord said what? And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. So what we are here doing is showing you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. We are in these conditions for breaking the laws of the Most High God. And our people just walk around like everything all good. But we at the bottom. We at the bottom of society. We packed in the ghettos. And now people act like it's all good. Give me uh give me give me uh Psalm 82, verse 5. Bring it out, huh? And our people act like it's all good. We we walk around without a care in the world. These are the ends of the these are the days, these are the ends of the time. But nobody care. Read. The book of Psalm, chapter 82 and verse 5. Bring it out. They know not. The, the scripture said they know not. Our people don't know what's going on. We come out here every week, past few days, every day, and we telling our people the same thing. Our people don't know what's going on. Read. They know not. Neither will they understand. It said, neither will you understand. You don't have no understanding. You just think we some Negroes in purple just wasting our time. We are here to warn you. We, they walk on in darkness. The scriptures say you walk in darkness. Bring it, on. it ain't no light. Our people in darkness, it ain't no light. Our people don't know what's going on. Come on. All the foundations of the earth are out of court. The foundations of the earth are out of court. Why? Because the so-called black man is supposed to be ruling this earth. It say the foundations are out of court. Because you're supposed to be ruling. Bring it out, up. Read. I have said, you are God. He said what? I have said, ye are God. What we out here doing? We saying the same thing that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, you so-called Native Indian are gods. But you don't care. That's right. That's that's too high. That's too high for you. Bring it out, huh? It's like you don't want that title. Bring it out. Read. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. Cause believe it or not, you are children of the Most High God. Well, the God of this Bible has a chosen people. The God of this Bible chose one, one nation of people. Bring it out, huh? Bring it out. And we go through these curses because you are being punished by the Most High God. Give me uh, Romans 8, 16. Bring it out. So what we say, you are gods. You are children of the Most High. They, they ain't going to teach you this in Sunday school. They're going to say he's the God of everybody. But the scriptures say he's the God of Israel. That's right. So your question should be, well, who are the Israelites? If the, if the scripture keeps saying over and over that he's the God of Israel, your question should be, who are the Israelites? Come on. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The Spirit itself, the words of this Bible bear witness that we are the children of the Most High. How do we know? Because we the only we the only nation of people to fit these curses. We the only nation of people to fit these curses. Give me uh, give me uh, Lamentation four seventeen. We the only we the only nation of people to fit these curses. The Spirit itself, the, the words of this Bible bear witness that we are the children of the Most High God. It's time for our people to wake up. It's time for the black man to stand up. It's time for our people to repent. Read the book of Lamentation, chapter 4 and verse 17. As for us, as for our people, read, our eyes as yet fail with our, with our vain help. Our eyes have failed with our vain help. Because we expecting the help of Trump. We expected the help of Bush. You expected the help of Obama. Bring it out! It said our eyes have yet failed for our vain help. Read. In our watching, we, watch, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. We watched for a nation that could not save us. 
None of these people hasn't did anything for us. We're still in the same condition as we were when they came in and when they left out. In the same conditions, in the same position, at the bottom of society. Bring it out. Still stuck, pack, packing out the ghettos of the black community. Curses. Curses. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. So what happened? So what happened to the so-called blacks and Spanish and native Indians? What happened? So why? Your question should be, well, why? Well, why is it that we the ones that, that pack out the ghettos? Why is it the one, why is it that we the ones that's killing our people in the community? I won't, uh, give me verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out! But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. The scriptures say it's going to come to pass if we don't listen to this Bible. We, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, it say all these what? All these curses. It says all these curses. Read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the, so what happened to the black man, the, the Hispanic man, is all these curses came upon our people for disobeying the words of the Most High God. Right. Which is this Bible. Read. Verse 16. Curse shall I be in the city. It said curse shall we be in the city. No matter what city you go to, no matter what country, the so-called blacks and the so-called Hispanics are cursed in the city. We fill in the ghettos. We the one killing each other. Our women the one coming back early at, a, at an early age pregnant. It's our people. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And it's cursed shall we be in the field. We was the ones cursed in the field. In the tobacco field, we was cursed. In the cotton field, we was cursed. In the in the sugarcane field, our people was cursed. That's right. Don't nobody don't nobody understand why they're not teaching you this in church. That's right. That's why you don't understand why. Bring it out. Read. Yeah, give me thirty-two. Verse thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and daughters were given to another people. When did this happen? In slavery. This happened in slavery. This still going on today. Because you, you, our people, you can't even send your, you can't even discipline your child, send them back to school. If, if the booze is too loud, you got the other nations all in your business. They want to take your children away from you. Bring it out! And it's going to be hard as hell to get them back. That's a curse. That is a curse. <laughs> our people need to wake up out of sleep, man. Read. And our eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Because our people, when, when, when our uh, kids were taken from us during slavery, it said our eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Because we couldn't get them back. It wasn't nothing we can do about it. It ain't nothing we can do about it today. It ain't nothing. You got to go to court. You got to fight for your kids. It's going to be hard as hell. It says our eyes, it says what? Our eyes are what? And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hands. Because there wasn't no might in our hands. It, it ain't no might in our hands today. We ain't got no military might. It, it ain't nothing we can do about it. We got to take that loss. There ain't nothing we can do about it. That's a curse. Our people need to wake up. Give me 30 seconds. Verse 37, and thou shall become an astonishment. It said we will become an astonishment. We will become a wonder in the in the uh throughout the world. We will be the one getting laughed at, getting the fingers pointed at. We can't get it together. They can't get it right. It's always us. Read. And thou shall become an astonishment. A proverb. It said we was gonna become a proverb. Because they don't call us by our name or the Bible no more. They don't call us Israel. They call us African American. Which is two. African and American is two different European males. How can black people be named after two Europeans? That is not your name. 
That's a proverb. Nah, uh, give me the next. A proverb in a byword. I meant to say it's a byword. But it's still a curse. It's still a curse. And we will be a proverb. If you want to keep something from black people, put it in the book. That's a proverb. And it said we will be a what? A proverb in a byword. A byword. African American, that's a byword. Negro, that's a byword. Color. That is a byword. That is not a nationality. Hey, you got a question? You got a question, sir? Yeah, because see, what I was taught, that was our father. What I was taught as a young child. You said this is our father? That was, that was what I was taught as that was our father as a, as a child. That's why I was so, so let me ask you a question. How do, does Jesus Christ look like this? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Give me uh, Revelation 1. So we're going to show you that Jesus Christ of the Bible is a black man. Look like me. Look like him. Look like this brother. You see what I'm saying? Read verse uh, 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. On. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing. That's what our revelation means, is to reveal. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. Come on. Give me uh. 13. Yeah, 13. 13? Yeah. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, ver verse 14. His head and his hairs were well, white like wool. It said his heads and his hairs were well, white like wool. So who, I'm going to ask you a question. What nation of people got woolly hair? You say, what's it? Black people got woolly hair. So does this image got woolly hair? Is it white woolly hair? This? This? Does this image got white woolly hair? It looks like it to you. You point at the wrong thing. You point. Look at what you point at. Um, this is what I'm. Yeah, this one. The, the picture uh, that they got in our uh, churches. And it, which is this? It's, so there's. So he don't got white woolly hair. All right, come on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So let me ask you a question. Do this man got eyes as a flame of fire? Bring it out. He ain't got eyes as a flame of fire. So that's two strikes, right? So they remember they got this in our churches. They they gave this to our people. Alright? Come on. And his feet like unto fine bread. So John the Revelator, he looked down at Christ's feet. So if if I look down at your feet, it's gonna be the same color as your arms, right? It's gonna be the same color as your face. So he looked down at Christ's feet. Watch this. And his feet like unto fine bread. So what color is fine bread? It's a bronze color, brown. It's a it's a uh it call, it's the it means brown. Alright? So it said his feet was like unto fine bread. Come on. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they burn in the furnace. So if you take fine brass and you burn it in a, in a fiery furnace, what color would it turn out? It's, it's going to be black, right? It's going to get darker, let's say. Right, so read that again. And his feet. Like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So it said his feet was like fine brass, meaning Jesus Christ was a black man, That's according right. to the Bible. So our question should be, why do why did they give us this? Yes, as you exactly right. They want us to worship him. Because if uh if you if if you look at uh your people and you see this image. You're going to respect this image more than you respect your own people. You see what I'm saying? So it was designed like that. Hey, give me, uh, give me, uh, First Maccabee 348. Hey, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what happened. I'm going to show you what happened and why they got this image in our churches today. The book of First Maccabee, chapter 3 and verse 48. Bring it on. And lay open the book of the law. So, so they laid open this Bible, right? Wherein the heathen had sought to paint 
the likeness of their images. So the heathen, the other nation, they sought to paint the likeness of their images. You see what I'm saying? So they gave us their images when they gave us this. You see what I'm saying? But the scriptures say uh, Jesus Christ looked like a black man. Give me uh, John 7, 38. The scriptures say Christ looked like a black man. You see what I'm saying? So that's deception. So they brainwashed us at an early age without ancestors. Right. Make it seem like, okay, it's supposed to push this man. It's how you're supposed to look. But I know it doesn't say it's dead in the Bible. Right. So it says so it's definitely gonna be totally different from what this. we read in the Bible versus what another person is telling exactly. us. Exactly. It said that's why people need to read. Now, Listen to this. The book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me, if I say he that believeth on me, me as the scripture has said. As the scripture has said. You see what I'm saying? Not what they gave us in these churches. That's right. What the Bible says. Exactly. As the scripture has said, what? Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. It said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. As the scripture has said. You see what I'm saying? Right. They don't believe on him as the scripture said. They gave us his own, their own image. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so most people are goes by what other people is teaching us. Right. So... We can only go along with what another person is telling us because they look at it as black as us, the black people, as the they look at it, we don't want to read because we don't want to learn nothing. So as long as we don't read and try to learn and educate ourselves, yeah. we will never know exactly what the real word is. Yeah. Hey, give me, uh, give me uh, Matthew 24, 24. Watch, watch this, sir. You did. You did. Book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse... 24 for there shall arise false christ they said there shall arise false christ this is the false christ you see what i'm saying because we just read what he really looked like he don't look nothing like this you see what i'm saying it said there shall arise what for thou shall arise false Christ and false prophets and false prophets people who teach this image you see what i'm saying that's right and thou shalt arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders. Uh -huh. Even so much, if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. He said they should deceive the very elect. The elect are the children of Israel, what you see on this sign right here. That's right. That's the elect of God. You see what I'm saying? It says this false Christ is going to deceive even the children of Israel. You see what I'm saying? And this is what happened. Uh, Give me a... Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 48. Let me show you something. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you why I have. The book of the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. Go up to 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. It said because we ain't want to serve the most high God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Read. For the abundance of all things. Because he made this whole world for us. You see what I'm saying? Read. Right. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. We're going to serve our friend. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. He said therefore, since we ain't want to serve the most high God, he said we're going to serve our enemies. This is what they brought. You see what I'm saying? Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh -huh. And hunger. It said we're going to serve them in hunger. Let me ask you a question. When you get hungry, who you got to go to? You walk to the store. You walk to the store. So who owned that store that you got to go to? Talking to white man. Yeah, most likely. Uh, if, uh, let's say, let, let me give you some examples like Kroger, Walmart. Really think about it, most all the stores are pretty much owned by a white, white man, Iranian. Yeah, they say our enemies. All right, so all of them are our enemies. You see what I'm saying? Come on. And in thirst, and in thirst, uh, when you get thirsty, yo, uh, you got to pay your water bill to your enemies. If you don't pay your water bill, they cutting it off. If you want, uh, if you want a Coca Cola. If you want some Gatorade, you see what I'm saying? If you want some liquor or some alcohol or something like that, it's saying you got to serve our enemies. You see what I'm saying? Come on. And, and nakedness. And we got to serve our enemies in nakedness. Because we don't own no uh, Nike. We don't own a deal. You see what I'm saying? Reebok, Hanes, Fruit of the Lord. We don't own none of that stuff. We don't even own cotton. 
You see what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> and in want of all things, and in want of all things like religion, if we if we want religion, because the Most High God never gave us religion. He just gave us laws and commandments. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So it said, in want of all things like religion, like a birth certificate, a death certificate, a marriage license. It said we got to serve our enemies. And what else? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Show it up. So I'm going to show you something, sir. Right here. Hold it up, your right. It said... Yeah. It said, he shall put a yoke of iron. Read, read that again for me. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hey, when did this happen to our people? When did the uh, so-called white man put yokes of iron on our neck? They having this slavery. Yeah, they having this slavery. Come on. Until he have destroyed thee. It said, until he have destroyed us. Because they took the yokes of iron off, we was already destroyed. We didn't know who we was no more. We didn't know what God we were serving. The God of who? You see what I'm saying? It said, until he, we, uh, we were destroyed. Give me, uh, yeah, give me, uh, verse 68. Let me ask you a question, sir. I'm going to ask you a question. How did we get over here on this, on, on uh, to the Americas? As far as I know, by boats. By boats. Let me ask you a question. Is that in the Bible? No. You, you, you don't think that's in the Bible? I know about the ark. I know about the ark. They're on the north hand. I'm talking about slave. I'm talking about slave ships. Slavery, slave ships? No. Watch this. Watch this. The book of, this is another curse. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. With ship. It says the Lord going to bring us into Egypt again with ship. Give me that in uh, Exodus 20. So the word Egypt is synonymous for bondage. That's right. uh, another word for bondage is slavery. All right. It's a Greek word means to bind or bondage. That's, that's all Egypt means. Watch this. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. It says... He brought us out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So God is referring to Egypt as the house of bondage. That's right. All right? So keep that in mind. You know, you know another word for bondage is slavery, right? right? So keep that in mind. Watch this. Bring it out. Verse 68. Huh? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He says it's going to bring us into bondage or slavery again. With ships. With, with what? With ships. He said going to bring us into slavery again with ships. That's right. Read. By the way thereof I spake unto thee. Moses said exactly how I'm saying it. It's going to happen exactly how I'm saying it. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh -huh. And that and there. And there when you get off those slave ships. Read. Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We were sold to our friends. Until your enemies. He said we're going to be sold until our enemies. When did this happen? This happened to us in slavery. This ain't happened to nobody else. There was a worldwide epidemic. You see what I'm saying? This is in the Bible. What, what we read in the Bible? You see what I'm saying? Watch this. And there you shall be sold until your enemies. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Come on. And no man shall buy thee. And no man shall redeem us. That's what buy means. It said it's to redeem. It said no man shall redeem us. Not uh, Martin Luther King. Not uh, Malcolm X. Not Marcus Garvey. That's right. You see what I'm saying? It said no man shall redeem us. So uh, give me that at uh, 1 King 8, 47. Okay. So this is what we, so what do we need to do? This is what we need to do. Watch this. The book of 1 King chapter 8 and verse 46. Bring it out. If thy sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. There is no Israelite that sinneth not. All right. Watch this. And thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy. So the most high God was angry with us and he delivered us into the hands of our enemy. Right. Watch this. So that they carried them away captive into a land of the enemy for a near. It said we carried, we were carried away captives into the land of our enemies far or near. In this case, it was far. You see what I'm saying? Because they, they brought us far over there, right? Watch this. Verse 47. 
yet if thou shalt bethink themselves it says if we shall bethink you know what it bethink me you know what bethink me it means to remember it's to rethink I it said if we shall remember them it says if we shall remember ourselves if, you, if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captive and we will remember who we are in the land over here where we will carry captives and repent and, do what? and repent and repent and make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive saying so we got to make supplication unto God how do we make supplication this is how watch this saying we have sinned we got to say we got to confess to God we have sinned watch this and have done perversely we have committed wickedness because we committed wickedness serving all the idol gods breaking all the gods uh, statutes and commandments we committed wickedness you see what I'm saying really? and so return unto thee with all thy heart and with all thy soul and the land of their enemies which led them away captives and pray unto thee toward their land. It said we gotta we gotta uh return to God over here in this land and pray towards God toward our land. So you know where our land is? Our land is Jerusalem. That's right. So we said we gotta pray towards Jerusalem. Alright? Read. Which thou gave us unto thy fathers, uh -huh. the city which thou hast chosen, uh -huh. and to the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou prayer. It said, then the most high gonna hear our prayer. Shalom, this I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this and join our IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.